Our first segment, produced by Brandilyn Friday, introduces us to 14 New Sunrise anchor, Beth Sweeney. In this month's Human Link recipient that we've all come to know over the past eight years, I bring to you Beth Sweeney. Thank you for meeting with us today, Beth. My pleasure. So you're from Liberty, Kentucky. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Absolutely. I grew up in a small town called Liberty, as you mentioned there. Small town in southern Kentucky, about 2,500 people. I went to a very small school. Um, but after high school, I went to the University of Kentucky and uh, to a much bigger place and learned a lot there. Traveled to Boston. I went to graduate school in Boston. I've lived in L.A. and a couple of other places. Um, but I'm really glad to be back in the tri-state area, close closer to home. You know, Evansville is such a great place to live. It, although it's a little bit bigger city, you still get that small town feel here. So I love that. Um, I live with my husband. I'm still a newlywed. And uh, we like to do a lot of traveling. Um, we've, we've been uh, to a lot of different countries, which is really exciting. And I hope to continue to do that. After graduating high school, you went to the University of Kentucky, and when we met last, you mentioned you were originally a theater major. How did you go from majoring in theater to majoring in broadcast journalism? Well, I've always loved theater, and I've always loved to act. When I was in high school, I was in all the school plays, loved doing that kind of thing. So that's what I thought originally I wanted to do when I went to UK, and I first enrolled, and I took some acting classes, I took some costume design classes, and really enjoyed it. But there was just something that was missing, so I decided to take a few other courses in some different fields like economics and marketing and broadcasting to try to get a sense of what I really wanted to do and by the end of my sophomore year I knew that broadcasting was really what I wanted to do. I loved to write. I'd always been a writer, a reader, that kind of thing and I knew that I could make a difference in the lives of others and I think that's what we all strive to do and, and journalism really hit the spot for me. What was one of your first jobs after you graduated? Well, after I graduated college, um, I worked for a cable station in Lexington, Kentucky. I did traffic there, which uh, kind of led me to Los Angeles, where I became a traffic reporter up in the helicopter for KTLA for a little bit. So that was a lot of fun as well. How'd you make it all the way from Los Angeles to Evansville? Because you're obviously not there anymore. Yeah, actually, I was out there for a little bit and loved it, loved the big city life, and really liked what I was doing as a traffic reporter, but knew that I really wanted to anchor, and I wanted to cover more things than traffic. Um, so I knew that to do that, I needed to start out in a smaller market. And when I was searching for jobs, the, the job of morning anchor, uh, I searched for that and found it online and came over and interviewed. and the station and myself decided it was a perfect fit um, because now I'm back closer to home, I'm closer to family, and I'm able to do what I really love and that's anchoring and reporting and, and telling the stories of people here in the tri-state. You're an anchor for 14 News Sunrise and you go on the air at 4.30. What time do you have to be here? <laughs> Very early. I get up usually around 2 o'clock in the morning, and I get here by about 2.45 or 3 o'clock. So um, definitely some crazy hours on a morning shift for sure. And besides being an anchor, what are some other responsibilities you have here at the station? Well, a lot of responsibilities. When I get here first thing in the morning, um, I start looking at the rundowns of what our newscast is going to be like that morning and I start writing stories immediately. You know, I think one of the misconceptions that a lot of people have about TV people or anchors is that all they do is read the news and that's certainly not the case, especially in this day and age. We really take an active role here at 14 News in the stories that we're covering. So we get in there, we start writing stories, we start uh, looking online uh, to see if there's any news from overnight that we want to include in our newscast to make sure that we have all uh, of those areas covered. In addition to that, while I'm out here on the show and before and after the show, I play a big role in social media. I'm on our 14 News Facebook page all the time, posting stories, uh, telling people about what we're covering on 14 News so they turn on their TVs and see what's happening, see what they've missed overnight. So we give them everything they need to know the minute wake, they, make, they wake up in the morning, like weather, uh, traffic, uh, news, any kind of big sports news that's happened overnight, uh, any international news or things that have happened right here at home. So uh, an anchor and reporter's job is a very busy one. Uh, what would you consider the best and worst part of your job? 
Well, we'll start with the worst first, and that is probably the hours because it is a very different shift. I mean, getting up in the middle of the night is just not natural, and even after eight years, I'm still not used to it. Sometimes it's hard when that alarm goes off in the morning, but once I get that first cup of coffee and get going, everything's good. I think probably the best part of working as a news anchor is being able to to meet the people who's that you're talking to every day. I think getting out in the public a lot, you know, I don't get a, a chance every day to get out and about, but I get invited to a lot of events and um, when I do get out to cover a story, I think that that is the most rewarding part of the job because you know that you're making a difference and you're telling the stories that people want to hear. Like you just said, you've been here for eight years. Have you always been an anchor here? I've always been an anchor from the very beginning, but I do uh, a lot of reporting as well, especially uh, special reports, things like that. My most recent special report was with a group of high school students uh, to talk about the, the Newtown tragedy and what they think we could do to make schools safer. And that was a really eye-opening story. And I, I just, it was so great to be able to work with young people and tell their side of the story. Because I think we had talked to, obviously, law enforcement officials. We had talked to um, different specialists about these kinds of tragedies. But we hadn't heard from students and what they think, how, how they feel about that kind of issue. And, and that was something really important to me. And I'm really glad I got to cover a story like that. So what would you say is different about being an anchor today than when you first started? I think definitely social media plays a much bigger role, not just in anchoring, but in the world of journalism as well. Because if you think about what you do every day, probably one of the first things you do when you wake up in the morning is uh, check your smartphone or check your email and get on Facebook and read those status updates or Twitter and, and see what's happened overnight. And that's really who we're trying to reach out to. We want to let people know that we're paying attention to your morning habits every day. So we're, uh, we're talking to you on Facebook and Twitter and we're chatting with you and we're, we're letting you know what's happening and I think that that's definitely something that's changed just in the last couple of years a much more active role in social media. So as everyone can see when they tune into the news in the morning you work with Dan and Chad and Byron. What's it like working with them on a daily basis? Well, it's a lot of fun, and I think when you're up at this hour in the morning, you have to have a lot of fun, which is great. I think we really have a great team. I think one of the things that makes a great team, especially for morning news, is good chemistry, because you're not just reading stories. We're talking to each other. We're chatting with you. We want to make you turning on the TV first thing in the morning when, you know, you may not be excited about getting up and going to work. We want to make that an enjoyable experience for you. So not only are we telling those hard news stories that we must tell, but we're also trying to have a little fun as well and, and make that morning routine a little more easy for you. So back to your personal life, you have some really unique experiences. Could you tell us about some of those? Absolutely. Um, one of the most unique experiences that I've had just in the past year is uh, climbing Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa. That was a huge feat for me. I had never slept in a tent before. I'd never gone camping, but my husband convinced me this is going to be a life-changing experience, and it certainly was. We had an amazing time, and fortunately, we're able to summit, make it to the top, and, and that was an incredible experience. Some of the other things I enjoy doing are just traveling. I just got back from Spain and Morocco, and uh, I've just been really fortunate to be able to do that kind of thing and, and have a husband that likes to do it too. So we've learned a lot about different cultures and, and hope to continue doing that. Well, you're definitely involved in a lot. Uh, where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Well, in the next 10 years, I hope to have a couple of kids running around. Uh, that's one of the main goals is to start a family. I've always wanted to be a mom and something I've really looked forward to. So having getting married just in the last year and a half, I'm really looking forward to that role as well. And hopefully I'll still be in journalism and still be anchoring and, and following my passion, which is telling people stories. And finally, what kind of advice would you give to people who aspire to be in broadcast journalism one day, like us in the Bossy Community Link? Well, I think the most important thing for a future journalism student or someone who's aspiring to be in that career is to get hands-on experience. That is where I learned the most. Of course, you need the college education, absolutely. But getting out there and taking advantage of internships, if you get an internship at a television station, go out with those reporters every day. Ask them if you can shoot a story as well to record for your resume tape. 
ask lots of questions, and take an active role. I think that's so important. Don't just learn the job that you want to do, like being a news anchor possibly. Learn all of the roles at the station. Learn how to produce. Learn how to run the teleprompter. Learn how to run the camera so that you are more marketable when it's time to get out there and get a job so that you can tell um, those future employers, hey, I can do this, this, and this. I'm not just uh, in this one specific role. I can do a lot of different things, and I think that that's extremely important if you want to make it in this career. Well, thank you for meeting with us today, Beth. Reporting for the EVSC Community Link at 14 News WFIE, this has been Ashley Goffinet.